So as Paul was writing to Rome, and uh, writing to the Romans, he was talking about our identification. And he says in Romans chapter 6, verse 4, We are therefore buried with Him through baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead, through the glory of the Father, we too may be raised to live a brand new life. <coughs> baptism is the public affirmation of your identification with Christ. You're saying in front of all of these witnesses, I'm ready to be identified with Christ. I am a Christ follower. And so it's out of that obedience that we have the pleasure, really the joy, to baptize a few of our co-students uh, tonight, our co-workers, our incredible people here. So um, we're going to invite them one at a time to come. And then, uh, I guess, I don't know, are they coming up or stepping down in? Or do they, uh, they're stepping down in. Okay. So uh, who, I don't know who else is coming. These guys are right here. Who's first? Sure. 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 I can take pictures too and email them to you. Oh, oh, no, here's your leg, go. Seriously, last last. It's going to all flush. Oh, Sarah, take a second. You go come over. You go come over. You go come over. You as a pastor, ministry of the gospel of Jesus Christ, it is really our honor tonight to testify. Before we baptize you, we've been a leader and such an incredible, faithful servant here of this ministry and both ministries represented here tonight. I just want to ask you before we baptize you to confirm once again that you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, that He came here on this earth. He had an incredible dynamic ministry and He was crucified for the forgiveness of our sins. And three days later, He rose again. And you believe that and you've accepted Him as your personal Lord and Savior. I believe that. All right. Yeah. Well, Sierra, it is our honor here tonight at FCA to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. Buried with Christ in baptism. Yeah, but a kid is real. Raise the wall. Christ to confirm that you believe Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the one true living God. He was crucified specifically for you, Kevin, for the forgiveness of your sins, and that three days later He rose again, and you believe and you've accepted Him as your personal Lord and Savior. Have you made that profession of faith, Kevin? Absolutely. I believe. Well, Kevin, it's really our honor here tonight, on behalf of Fellowship Christian Athletes and on behalf of the uh, Baptist Student Ministries, to baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. Thank you. 
question, do you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God? He was crucified specifically, Dominique, for you, for the forgiveness of your sins. And three days later, He rose again. Do you believe that? I do. Good. Well, it's because you believe that, that it's our honor here as Baptist Student Ministries and Fellowship Christian Athletes that we get to baptize you here at Lamar University tonight as a new sister in Christ with us. Buried with Christ in baptism and raised to walk in a brand new life. Lavion, I'll ask you the same question. Do you believe that Jesus is the Christ? He was crucified for the forgiveness not only of you, but all of mankind for all time. And three days later, through the incredible power of the resurrection, He was resurrected. And He gives us the opportunity now to be His ambassador, be His witnesses, as all of these witnesses are here with you tonight. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? And He did that for you, Lavion? Yes, sir. I do. That's great. It's because you believe that that we as witnesses can baptize you tonight. So it is our privilege and our pleasure to welcome you to the family of faith. We're going to baptize you tonight in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, <laughs> buried with Christ in baptism, and raised to walk in a brand new life. this great celebration tonight. We thank you that um, you've given us your word, which is sharper than a double-edged sword that speaks to us with great conviction and encouragement. I pray that these students would leave tonight as they go to their various appointments and tasks, that tonight they would think of people that they could invite to be involved with Res Week this week. And we thank you for the way that you've spoken to all of our hearts. We thank you so much for the baptisms tonight that these new incredible brothers and sisters in Christ would be great ambassadors for your name and your word. And we pray for your safety tonight as we all depart now in the rain and wet weather. We pray that you would bring us all back together safely tomorrow at noon in the great ballroom. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And all God's Lamar students said, Amen. 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 Good night. Get some food. Thank Ooh, you guys. Be careful. 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 Be careful.